Dear viewers, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. Once again, I'll, I hope you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, it is evident again that this Kanye Kwanza government is going after those people who are perceived to be Uhuru's men. Wengine wanasema ati kaundi yetu sijui ndiyo kaundi ile inaangaliwa. Mimi nilikuwa nikitangaza nikisema hii kaundi tutamaliza siasa na itakuwa kaunti number 1 ya amani lakini mimi nataka niseme shukurani. Kuna ile siku mmoja tulipata shida kidogo yule kijana alipigwa risasi na nikaambia vijana more relax hapo ndio hiyo watu wanataka kutupeleka na vijana waka relax na nikawaambia tumuombea yule kijana atapona na hii kaundi itasimama imara na mimi ya mwisho kabisa nataka niambie kaundi commissioner kaundi commissioner tafuta DCIO walangas na utafute DCIO wetu hapa town wakuambie ni askari gani alipiga risasi huyo kijana na vile vile wewe kaundi commissioner pia unajua ulitenganisha watu wetu hapa na fitina mingi sisi tumekusamea but you must resign this government atuwezi kukubali hiyo maneno tuambiane ukweli ndio inji ipone Mulukuwa mnataka fita katika taifa la Kenya. Lakini sisi kama team ya Kenya kwanza tulisimama imara na tukaubui ya amani na siyasa imeisha. Kaundi Commissioner ujipange my friend. Lazima uwende nyumbani. Last week we saw regional, commis regional commissioners get fired. Almost all of them. In fact all of them were fired. It was believed that during the Hurus time these regional commissioners were advancing the agenda of Uhuru Mugabe Kenyatta which was according to what the Kenya Kwanza people are saying is that they were campaigning for Uhuru Mugabe Kenyatta's preferred candidate so this was some kind of revenge mission on those Uhuru men all right, and back home, a new batch of regional commissioners have been appointed in the latest set of changes at the Ministry of Interior. Roda Onyancha takes over from John Elungata as the Coast Regional Commissioner, while John Otieno is the new Northeastern Commissioner. Paul Rotich has been appointed as the Eastern Regional Commissioner, and Frederick Shisia becomes the new Central Regional Commissioner, taking over from Esther Miner. Mohamed Malim, who was recently appointed as the Rift Valley Commissioner, has been replaced by Dr. Abdi Hassan. Samson Irungu takes over as the Western Regional Commissioner, while Flora Morad takes over from Magu Mutindika as the Nyanza Regional Commissioner, and Kate Mwanza has been appointed as the new Nairobi Regional Commissioner. Also included in the changes are a section of county commissioners. Tom Anjere has been appointed as the new Kisi County Commissioner and William Kaimba takes over as Makweni County Commissioner. Felix Watakila as the new Kajado County Commissioner. So what has it that, again, the President of the Republic of Kenya is going after county commissioners? deputy county commissioners those ones are also alleged to be going to face the same same wrath of the president now belgood mp that is nelson coach said something he said when president ruto ran for office one of the promises he made was to re reorient the provisional administration so that it would be more focused on facilitating service delivery to kenyans rather than running political errands. That is Ruto's confident and very good member of parliament, Nelson Koech. And he told the one of the leading uh, media companies about what the president's intentions were. And that from the posting, what Nelson Koech is saying is that the president promised that when he gets into office, you will have to reorient and restructure some of these provision administration op offices. So, because the regional commissioners were dismissed, what Nelson Koech is saying is that that is part of this, part of the broader plan of the president to restructure the provision administration. But now, details that have leaked are that the county commissioners 
deputy county commissioners are also going to face the same wrath. Mind you, when William Samoyedu was forming the government, he had to go after the permanent secretaries, I mean principal secretaries, those, those are the famously known as the PSs, and most of the ones that he replaced were the ones who are regarded to be Uhuru's men. And then for the CSS, he went for all the of all the Uhuru men and dismissed them, but decided to retain a couple of MCS who were considered to be neutral during the campaigns. The president also targeted the state house uh, staffs and decided to fire certain of them and replace some of them with the new staffs. But there are some other places where Uhuru has, where Uhuru has not been able to some staffs in other places, departments like the treasury. So Uhuru, so Uhuru has not been able to fire certain individuals within the treasury, especially the governor for central bank. He has not been able to fire the government for, governor for central bank. So now the governor for central bank is arguably one of the longest serving staffs. He has served with the Mwai Kibaki, he served with Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta and now he is serving with William Samudro. So those are some of the people that uh, William Samudro cannot fire. But the people like the county commissioners, people like the deputy county commissioners, these ones are alleged to be on the same same path of firing, that they will be fired soon. It is alleged that these people will be fired soon and I think it's not going to take uh, more than a month from what uh, the details that we have and by, by the way this is from uh, the innermost uh, and these details were from the Ruto's confidant that the people who are going to be fired next are the county commissioners and deputy county commissioners ladies and gentlemen do you think William Samaritu is doing the right thing by firing Uhuru men or is this going to backfire on him? Can you share out your thoughts are below the comment section there? Do you think that whatever William Samuel is doing by firing all those people who are allied to the president, the former president, is okay? Can you share out your thoughts are below the comment section? And once again, I'd like to urge any visitor who has not subscribed to this channel to please consider subscribing to our channel. Once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.